。另外，美国消费者联盟最新发布研究报告，过去二十多年，全美汽车保费节节上升，加州却是唯一一州汽车保费不升反降的州。相关消费者保护组织认为，这与一九八八年加州选民通过一零三号提案，有效控制汽车保费调涨有关。消费者保护团体希望借鉴管制汽车保费成功的经验，未来可以通过类似提案，管制健保保费不当调涨。美国消费者联盟调查发现，二零一零年加州驾驶人平均一年要负担七百四十六元的汽车保险保费，这比一九八九年加州驾驶人平均一年负担七百四十八元保费还少两元。更重要的是，全美各州汽车保费都在飞涨，加州不但不涨，还降了一点。But here in California, the actual average premium for insurance went down. Since Prop 103 passed, how many other products' prices have gone down over the last 25 years? So it's not just a huge victory for consumers in California, lower, lower auto, home, and business insurance premiums. It's also a major vindication of the initiative process. 面对健保改革明年全面上路，消费者团体也担心健保保费也有可能飞涨。The federal health reform law, or Obamacare, as people like to call it, implemented a lot of important reforms of the health insurance industry. Practices that health insurance companies have used to discriminate or exclude consumers from health insurance coverage are finally being eliminated. But what it didn't address is cost. 早在去年，一项名为“批准健保费率改变”的创制提案就已经成功收集五十万个以上的连数，并已经排定放上明年十一月。加州大选的选票上。Well,、uh, the measure that we qualified for the 2014 ballot would require health insurance companies to open their books and publicly justify rate increases and get approval before those rate increases get in, go into effect.、Um, the ballot measure would apply Proposition 103's consumer protections that currently apply to auto, home, and other insurance to health insurance. 不过，对于加州保费调整的管制措施，健保公司势必有不同的看法。加上健保与汽车保险是否可以类比，也有讨论的空间。因此，这项提案极有可能在明年加州选举出现激烈的辩论。由于加州是全美人口最多的州，加上是经济火车头，这项提案无论通过与否，都可能成为全美讨论订定健保保费的最重要指标。